trust me. Thank you, Kenton, for watching your hometown stations. From the area's news leader in high definition, this is your news now at 11. The town of Delphus honors their former mayor with a special benefit. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Cynthia Hill. Delphus residents pitched in to help their former mayor this afternoon. Katie Allingford was there to see how the town planned to raise some money. Since April, the city of Delphus has been putting in time, energy, and support for their former mayor, Mike Gallmeyer, who was diagnosed with brain cancer earlier this year and had to step down in June. To help out Mr. Gallmeyer, citizens of Delphus attended a benefit with food, raffles, and a bake sale to raise money for his cancer treatment. Chief Supermarkets initially reached out to the Gallmeyer family to see if they wanted to put on the event, and the family agreed. They approached us, asked us, and they said we could do whatever we would really wanted. We, they would donate um, the food for it, and if we wanted to make it bigger, we could. So um, we went, we, we sent out some interest out there, and we had a lot of people come back and say they were willing to donate. Seeing so many people from town coming out and giving back is something that the Gallmeyer family greatly appreciates as they go through this tough time. The support and the, and the, the backing that, the, that, the, that Delphus has given my family and my dad and everybody, um, the prayers, the, the, the positive thoughts and everything else, it's just it's unbelievable. We've got so much stuff and I was so worried that we wouldn't get enough people out, but I think it's just gonna, I mean, it, we just started and you can kind of look and see that there's already a bunch of people here willing to, uh, you know, put forth something and get a chance to win something and also give a little bit of backing to dad. In Delphus, Katie Huntingford, your news now. Thanks so much, Katie. State of Ohio agencies have introduced a plan that changes the rules surrounding the overprescribing of pain pills. The rules come from the medical, dental, and nursing boards and limit the prescribing of opioid painkillers for acute pain to a seven-day supply for adults and a five-day supply for minors. The rules were put into effect on August 31st and are an attempt to reduce the abuse of opioids in Ohio. Local health providers are taking these new guidelines into account, saying that the rules have potential for good. I believe this is a reasonable step to take. Uh, I know here at St. Rita's we've been very committed to helping to do our part in curbing the opioid epidemic. So there are several steps that we're taking along with these new rules that have been passed to try to be uh, effective and more responsible um, as providers and as a hospital system with how we use these medications. The regulations do not affect prescriptions for situations like chronic pain and cancer. Well, those fall-like fields have extended their stay here in West Central Ohio with temperatures struggling to reach the mid-60s earlier today. Joining us now with our first check of the weather, meteorologist Jesse Mag. Hi, Cynthia. The wind has calmed down a little bit, although it is fairly chilly out there, and there's actually a band of showers that are beginning to move uh, into our region. This is a surface trough that's pushing through. We expect things to dissipate just a little bit, but there is still a slight chance to see some showers here tonight. Current temperatures right around 60 degrees. That's what we're seeing here in Lima. A little bit cooler in Wapakoneta at 59 and 57 degrees there in Ottawa. Still ahead, I'll let you know about the Labor Day forecast I have in store for you. One day warm up, and then those fall-like temperatures are going to return. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. All right, thanks, Jesse. A few Buckeye fans took to the country roads outside Ada this morning to celebrate the kickoff of Ohio State football. The group was made up of cyclists from the area who rode their bikes 30 miles in a very specific path to spell out the word Ohio, just like the Ohio State marching band at the beginning of each football game. While there were big plans for the event that didn't quite work out, the cyclists still had a good time and are already looking forward to kickoff in 2018. Originally, one of the other ideas for this event was our local YMCA in Hardin County. Um, you know, we're just trying to look for other ways to encourage people to be active and healthy um, and also do it as a fundraiser. Unfortunately, at this time, it didn't quite work out that way. But we're looking forward to next year to making this, you know, much larger interactive event. Pretty cool. This is the first year that the event has been held. For 55 years, the Ottoville community has turned out to support their park through their carnival fundraiser. The two-day carnival has something for everyone, lots of activities for kids and adults, free entertainment and good food. The money raised from the carnival goes back into the park and its programs. Organizers are thankful that the residents past and present make the fundraiser such a success. 
And the Hancock County Fair rolls in today four with some gentle giants taking center stage to compete for the top prize. This afternoon, the draft horse teams entered the arena to show the crowd just how well these horses can work together. Teams come in from around the state to compete in the open class competition at the Hancock County Fair. Fans not only can see the teams in action, but feel the power of those horses too. They're so big um, and impressive, massive. Um, like when they come in the arena here, if you're standing by this gate, the ground's gonna shake. And uh, that will give you a whole different impression of a draft horse when the ground starts shaking. There are still two days left at the Hancock County Fair. Tomorrow, tractor pulling will be the main event. Monday will wrap up with the demolition derby competition. Well, providing homes for the men and women who have served to protect every home in the country is the goal of Mercer County-based Lots for Soldiers. The organization has been helping those who have served or are currently serving in the U.S. Armed Forces with a place to call home since 2014. The group works to donate lots and then organize volunteers to build new houses at an affordable price to say thanks to these men and women. To do this, Lots for Soldiers depends on donations to accomplish their mission and is looking to the community for support. A benefit is being planned in the Lima area to help support our men and women in uniform. I am from a military background um, and you just can't ever do enough for the military with active duty and veterans. Shaking a hand just isn't enough. And this way we have an opportunity to help the community bring in more of these soldiers, more of these veterans, give them a place to live, make them feel secure, make them feel safe. A benefit dinner will be held Friday, September 29th at the Howard Johnson Lima. Pre-sale tickets are $15 and $30 at the door. Doors open at 4 with dinner and recognition from 5 to 7 p.m. There will also be a silent auction. All proceeds go to Lots for Soldiers. You can purchase tickets by calling 419-586-5058. Still ahead on Your News Now at 11, the president pays another visit to Houston as Harvey recovery efforts get underway. That story when we come back. Your life is in a state of constant motion, and only Spectrum can help you make the most of every moment. With Spectrum, you'll get the best in TV with a crystal clear picture and sound, plus more free HD than ever before. Just $29.99 a month. Call 844-353-2999. Then enjoy smoother surfing, streaming, and gaming with the fastest internet starting speeds, 60 megabits per second, with no data caps and a free modem. Just $29.99 a month. And when a picture or post can't say it all, get unlimited nationwide calling, plus unlimited calling to Canada, Mexico, and more with no added taxes or fees. Call 844-353-2999. Make the most of every moment with Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice. Just $29.99 a month each with no contracts and our 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 844-353-2999. Time Warner Cable is now Spectrum, redefining what a cable company can be. The best time to buy Tempur-Pedic is now. The best place to buy is Sleep Outfitters. Save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and get six years special financing at the best place to buy Tempur-Pedic, Sleep Outfitters. Closed caption, courtesy of Chamberlain Huckerty Funeral Home, promising to provide the highest level of service possible to you and your family. Stop in and see us. Welcome back to your news now at 11. Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto took a firm stance on relations with the U.S. during his annual State of the Union speech today. It was Peña Nieto's fifth State of the Union address amid increasing violence in the country. He said that security is his government's top priority. Killings in Mexico this year are on track to surpass the bloodiest period of the drug war. Peña Nieto has spent much of the last year responding to President Trump's tough line on Mexico and migration. He got a standing ovation when he vowed that we will not accept anything that goes against our dignity as a nation. 
Well, President Trump was back in Texas today visiting with victims of Hurricane Harvey and first responders still working on the ground there. While some areas in the strike zone are still taking on water, many are now beginning the difficult work of cleanup and recovery. Jay Gray has our story tonight from Houston. I'm proud to introduce you to the president. President Trump back in the strike zone for the second time since the storm. Spending time with survivors and first responders in Houston and Lake Charles, Louisiana. I want to congratulate everybody that's worked so hard. It's been an incredible five days, six days. This was, uh, it seems like it's much longer than that. The president is asking Congress for $7.9 billion as an initial disaster relief package. Some have estimated the total cost for the cleanup and recovery will reach close to $200 billion. But in many areas, that recovery will have to wait. It's water all the way up to my roof now. My whole neighborhood is flooded out. And in some neighborhoods, the floodwaters are still rising. In places where the water's gone, the work is just beginning. Oh, it feels good to help them out, you know, because uh, it could happen to anyone. Piles of debris have replaced pools of water in this neighborhood and dozens more survivors doing whatever they can to come back. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. you. Be good. Another push towards some kind of normal here, the Astros back and playing baseball, but not before collecting donations for the victims of Harvey and calling for a moment of silence. But only a moment. There's too much work to do here. Jay Gray, NBC News, Houston. So it's been pretty chilly as of late. Do we have a burst of heat coming in? Yeah, summer's making a surge back into our area. We have a low pressure system that's going to move in. It's going to pull some warmer air from the south. I'll tell you more about that after this break. I was having the most amazing Captain D's dream. Captain D's? Oh, well, then by all means, continue. It's a dream come true. Captain D's new catfish and butterfly shrimp. Full meals for just $4.99. Captain D's, the taste of the coast. With Otterbein's Host Acute Care, it's all about reemerging as a better version of yourself. This is the ideal setting for your complete medical rehabilitation. You'll have access to a variety of comprehensive care therapy and a physician that sees all of our new residents within 24 hours. We want you to feel a little spoiled. So you or your loved one will enjoy a private suite. And quality care amenities are truly what set Otterbein apart. Call today or visit us online. One Otterbein, one standard of care, two convenient locations near you. If you ever dreamed of having a fireplace, Village Hardware in Lipstick is the place to go. We have a great selection of wood, pellet, and gas hearth products. Look around. Do you have an empty wall? We can have warmth, value, and style to your home. And we stand out because our installers do it all. From framing, gas line, masonry, finish work, and mantles. Village do it best. It's more than just our name. It's our way of doing business. Do it best. The people you trust do it best. It's just hard to think about anything else but Captain D's new catfish and butterfly shrimp. Full meals for just $4.99. It's a dream come true. Delicate, delectable, undeniable. Captain D's, the taste of the coast. Tonight's weather is brought to you by your Ashley Home Stores of Northwest Ohio in Lima, Holland, Finley, and now Defiance. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Welcome back, everybody. Those cool temperatures and clouds are sticking around in our area, and actually just a slight chance to see a shower or two move through. We have a, a surface trough that's moving right along here, a weak surface trough, so we expect to see things dissipate as they get into our region. It's still about a 30% chance to see some showers here tonight. Right now, we're still at 60 degrees, south-southwest wind around 6 miles per hour. The dew point is picking up, so we're getting a little bit moisture there. You can see 58-degree dew points and the relative humidity climbing uh, into the 90s now. Those temperatures out there right around 60 for the majority of the area. 60 here in Lima, 57 just a little bit cooler in Ottawa, down towards the south, 57 in Wapakoneta, 59 in Minster, and 59 in Salina as well. Today's almanac shows that we were well below the average as far as those temperatures go. Only a 10 degree difference between the two. That's some of the moisture we have in the air, uh, preventing the uh, temperature from dipping or rising too fast. And you can see the average is at about 79 degrees, so we are well below uh, that stage here. Just wanted to update you guys on Hurricane Irma right now. Uh, category 2 storm. 
110 miles per hour, and it's projected to uh, increase in strength just a little bit as it moves through the Atlantic. You can see picking up to a Category 3, those winds climbing uh, just to, uh, to about 125 there, and as it approaches uh, towards the coast in our area, it's actually going to pick up to a 4 with about 130 mile per hour winds by the time it gets into uh, Thursday evening, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Futurecast is showing the remnants of Harvey moving off towards the coast. You can see uh, just some cloud coverage in our area, but by the time we're waking up tomorrow, a few clouds, but then we should begin to see some clearing of the skies and hopefully get some sunshine in our area. There is change on the way. This low pressure system is a fairly strong one, and it's beginning to actually pull some of that warmer air into our region. By the time we get into Monday, you can see midday there. The wind is coming from the southwest and really pushing warm air. We could see temperatures in the mid 80s but following right behind that, fall is coming right back. We have a cold front sweeping through, and then a lot of wind is pushing northerly uh, air down towards our area. You can even see a line of showers and thunderstorms associated with that cold front. Temperatures are going to feel like fall here once again after we make it through Monday. So those clouds here tonight and that storm dissipating as it moves through by the time we're waking up uh, right around the mid 50s with those clouds sticking around, and we should be clearing up just a little bit by the time we get into the afternoon and into the evening hours. So a little bit warmer tomorrow, near 78 degrees for a high temperature, and then we are staying clear and as you go into Monday morning those clear conditions persisting and into the rest of the day there Monday just in the afternoon and evening a slight chance to see some showers and thunderstorms moving through our area but for the majority of Labor Day it should be fairly nice so for tonight 55 degrees is our low just about a 30 percent chance for those showers mostly cloudy skies and as we go into tomorrow a pretty nice day 78 degrees is our high temperature we're starting off with some clouds but we're getting that sunshine later in the day here's a look at your seven day forecast Monday really cranking up the heat, something we haven't seen here in uh, just a little bit. 85 degrees is a high and those chance for showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Tuesday cooling back down, slight chance for showers, and it looks like those cool temperatures are here to stay. 68 on Wednesday and 69 on Thursday, Cynthia, so it's getting chilly a little bit. All right, thanks so much, Jesse. Up next in sports, Eddie Kilroy gives us a taste of today's soccer, golf, and cross-country action. But first, we'll go to Delphus for some afternoon high school football. Hurry in now to your Ashley Home Store Labor Day Savings Event. Save 50% store-wide, plus up to an additional 30%, or take advantage of no interest for 60 months. Find incredible Labor Day Manager specials like this sofa for just $3.99, or queen panel bed for only $3.49, or this sofa chaise now only $7.99, or take 60 months to pay with absolutely no interest. This queen upholstered bed just $19 a month. Don't miss these exclusive Labor Day Savings. 50% off, plus up to an additional 30% store-wide. Only at your Ashley Home Stores in Northwest Ohio. Ohio's medical care providers are united against the ballot issue on prescription drugs. The Ohio Pharmacists Association says issue two could actually result in major price increases for millions of Ohioans. The Ohio Nurses Association says issue two could restrict access to medication. And the Ohio State Medical Association, representing over 10,000 doctors, calls issue two bad policy. Get the facts for yourself. Then vote no on issue two. Apollo's Able GED is now Aspire Able GED. The name has changed, but the services have not. If you've never gotten your high school diploma, are looking to upgrade your academic skills, or want to be job ready, this is the first step. Once you've met your goals, you can enter a skills training program through an accredited school like Apollo's Adult Education. Attend our next orientation on Tuesday, September 12th. Classes begin immediately at Apollo Career Center. From Raby Ford in Delphus, the area's only nine-time President's Award winner and F-150 specialist, this is your News Now Sports. After 10 meetings on the gridiron, the holy war is all square. Lima Central Catholic and St. John's are tied at five apiece in the series dating back to 2007. This year, the rivalry is renewed in Delphus with the Blue Jays seeking back-to-back -back wins against the Thunderbirds for the first time since 2010. Both St. John's and LCC vying for 2-0 starts for their 2017 campaigns. Second quarter, T-Birds lead 3-0, but the Blue Jays go for it on fourth down. Jared Wurst connects with Connor Houlihan. That's more than enough for Houlihan, who scores on a 27-yard touchdown. St. John's leads 7-3. LCC swings back with Logan Schultz going right up the gut for a 14-yard touchdown. T-Birds lead 10-7. The Blue Jays then answer. Isaac Musser takes the pitch, finds the crease in front of our camera, and is gone for a 50-yard touchdown. 
Blue Jays back on top 14 to 10. And then for insurance, it's worst. Giving it his best on the diving attempt, he's in for six and helps cap off a 21 point quarter for the home team. St. John's wins 34 to 10. On the pitch at Spartan Stadium, Lima Senior hosting crosstown rival LCC in a shootout. Fifth minute we go, where the T-Birds threaten, but Quinton Factor makes the Spartan save. We go to the 21st minute when Lima Senior takes a direct kick, Colton Fry to Tyler Lesh for the header, but Jack Zarente finds the rock and grabs the save in traffic. 35th minute, it's Fry bending one in to draw first blood, but it's the Spartans and T-Birds ending in a one-all draw. We'll stay at Spartan Stadium where LCC Girls Soccer hosts Fort Jennings. Four minutes in, Jessica Wilker sees an opening, and from 30 yards out, she finds the back of the net. LCC draws first blood, and five minutes later, it's Avery Rice's turn. She goes lefty to double the LCC lead. Rice with a hat trick performance on the afternoon. She also gets the assist at the 14th minute, crossing one in. General Rose with the finish. LCC cruises to a 6 0 win. Busy day at Bath. First up, girls' soccer team squaring off with Kaleida. First half, Ainsley Miller lets it rip from 20 yards out. The ball hitting the crossbar. And it's Bailey White collecting the rock for the save. We remain scoreless at the other end with Hannah Warren's shot knocked down by Emily Rocca. The junior keeper keeps us scoreless. Then at the 32nd minute, Madeline Renner finds Jaden Hale on the run. And it's the senior finishing with a collision and a goal. Hale puts Bath on the board en route to a 3-0 win. On to the fellas. Bath also hosting Kaleida and early in the first half, Kaleida's on the offense with Josh Verhoff taking an uncontested shot. Luckily, Dylan Moore's there for the save, but Kaleida keeps up the pressure. Corner kick at the 27th minute. Carter Moore delivers it and Aiden Furch finishes. The sophomore makes it 2-0 Kaleida and 30 seconds later he's on the attack again. He finishes the breakaway with another goal and Kaleida wins big 7-0. Inside at the bathtub Wildcat Volleyball hosting Jefferson. Second set Riley Imes serving. That's an ace. She puts Bath on top 21-20 and on the next volley it's Eden Atkins grabbing a kill at the net. Bath up by two but Jefferson rallies back. Jayla Rostifer finds a wide open space and strikes for the 23-22 Jeff Cat lead and on set point Sarah Miller powers a kill off the blockade. Jefferson takes a nail biting second set 25-23. Jeff gets roll 3 0. On the links of Lost Creek, it's the LCC Girls Golf Invitational, ninth hole. Mary Kelly Mulcahy rolls a par. She finished tied for six with an 82. LCC taking sixth in the Scarlet Division with a 354. First green we go where Shawnee's Morgan Altenbach uses a chip, setting herself up for the bogey. Altenbach with a 101 today. Shawnee taking fourth in the Turquoise Division with a 391. Staying in the first, it's Bluffton's Olivia Koenig with a par. The Pirate medals with an 81 in the turquoise division. St. Ursula and Tippecanoe are your team champions. In cross country, Columbus Grove hosting their invite. Small school boys division we begin with Audeville's Brendan Seifker champions the race in 15 minutes, 34 seconds. Meanwhile, for the small school girls, it's the host school representing Alyssa Elbrock capturing gold 19 minutes flat. Grove girls capturing that team title today. As for the large school girls, Girls. It's Minster's Emma Waukee anchoring the Wildcats to a win in 18 minutes, 23 seconds. Minster taking both the small school boys and large school girls team titles. And as for the large team boys race, Finley's Jordan Holiday placing second in 16 minutes, 19 seconds. Trojan boys finishing fourth in their division. Wapkinetta hosting their annual night meet. We begin in the girls race with Defiance's Shea Suckup who takes the silver. In 19 minutes, six seconds, and the boys' rates, it's a fellow Bulldog in Bryce Mendenhall taking the gold in 16 minutes, 19 seconds, defiant sweeps for the team titles. We need to take a break here on Your News Now Sports, but stay tuned. We'll talk Reds and Indians baseball after the break. The Hearing and Balance Center in Lima provides complete hearing health care from diagnosis to treatment and rehabilitation. With the latest technology, hearing aids can be iPhone compatible. Dr. Alexis Nodler is a doctor of audiology who cares about you and your hearing loss. Research shows that untreated hearing loss can lead to dementia. The good news is we can fit the hearing aids for those affected and can be reversed. See what the difference of good hearing health care can make. Give us a call at 419-222-9010. 
You never know who you will meet at the Lima Library. You already know that the library is the best place to find books, DVDs, and music. But more and more people are discovering it is a place to meet and connect with neighbors, friends, and even local celebrities. We have so many new features we're adding, like virtual reality, free language courses, a wide variety of classes, all available with your newly designed library card. Get your new library card this month by stopping in at the Lima Library or any of our branches in Allen County. Meet, connect. Are you looking for help in improving physical fitness, self-control, and self-confidence for yourself, your children, or your grandchildren? Look no further than the Soldiers of Honor Boxing Boot Camp Program. The boot camp begins September the 5th at the New Look Fitness Center. The goal is to use teachable moments to help participants learn, to improve focus, feel better about themselves, and increase their self-confidence and self-control. Welcome back. Brian Price will be the Reds manager for at least one more year. Cincinnati is picking up his option for 2018. It will be the last year of his current deal. Price is currently in his fourth year with Cincinnati. He owns a record of 266 and 355 as the Reds skipper. Reds seeking a third consecutive win. Cincinnati playing the Pirates third inning. How about this effort by Billy Hamilton? A for effort. Dive and grab into the wall. That's a gold glove effort, and it takes away extra bases. But in the eighth, Pittsburgh leads 1-0 when the rookie Jordan Luplo hits a three-run blast for his first career homer. Pirates roll 5-0. The Indians resume their weekend in Motown. First inning, Tribe leads the Tigers 2-0 when Abraham Almonte pokes an RBI single to center. Two-run score to cap off a four-run frame for Cleveland. The Indians going wire to wire today. We go to the fifth when Almonte does more damage, this time with an RBI double. Almonte batting two for five, three RBI. Indians win their tenth straight. 5-2 to two the final. Finally, the Cleveland Browns get a new weapon. The Browns acquire wide receiver Sammy Coates in a trade from the Pittsburgh Steelers today. 24-year-old is coming off a 2016 campaign where he made 21 catches for 435 yards and two touchdowns. In addition to Coates, the Browns also receive a 2019 seventh-round draft pick. And in exchange for those assets, Pittsburgh receives the 2018 sixth-round pick, which was the same pick used to acquire former Browns defensive back Justin Gilbert. The Browns and Steelers meet in the season opener in Cleveland next Sunday. Kickoff set for 1 o'clock. Thanks so much. We'll be right back. When Elida Health Foods opened in the mid-60s, science didn't know how to deal with pain and inflammation. Today, there is help the natural way. Are you tired of living with pain? Are pain and inflammation ruling your life? If so, I have an answer. Our best-selling Curamin by Terry Naturally. Come see us. Curamin has helped many of our customers, and we'd love to help you, too. Curamin from Terry Naturally, exclusive at Elida Health Foods. Come see Catapult, the world's premier shadow dance company live in concert. You'll be mesmerized as these incredible dancers transform themselves into one impossible shape after another. You've seen them on America's Got Talent. Now come see them live. Critics call Catapult a breathtaking show for the whole family. Now experience the magic of shadow illusions as only Catapult can deliver live. Start your day with McDonald's and our breakfast value menu. Sausage burrito, sausage McMuffin, hash browns, parfait, McCafe coffee, and more. Jumpstart your morning with McDonald's. I'm loving it. Your hometown stations files children's television programming reports with the FCC quarterly. Copies of these reports can be found in our public file at 1424 Rice Avenue in Lima. You can also find them at hometownstations.com under station info. Finally tonight, customers at a KFC in China can now pay with a smile. Chinese corporate giant Alibaba is demonstrating a facial recognition payment system at this store in Hangzhou. The new restaurant uses software developed by the Alibaba's affiliate and financial. Diners can pay by scanning their faces at an ordering kiosk and entering a phone number. The company said this is the first commercial application of the technology anywhere in the world. The store operating under the Cape Pro brand is targeting a younger generation. They are expected to drive the lion's share of China's consumer growth over the next decade. And that's all we have for tonight. We'll see you right back here to tomorrow at 11. Brought to you in part by St. Mary's Chrysler.
For more news now, visit us online anytime at hometownstations.com. Copyright 2017, Lima Communications Corporation.